is it really right to marry this guy? The depressed feeling before marriage due to uncertain future. But the meaning is totally different for the women in Thailand's nightlife. Their marriage blue has more than that. This story is about a woman named Te. She was born and raised in poor area in Udon Thani. She got married to a Thai man and had two kids when she was 18. She was happy in the beginning, but the man was not different from the other Thai guys. He quit his job six months after the wedding. Drank and slapped around with other women. And just like other Thai couples, they didn't get their marriage license until then. One year later, they got finally separated. She had to take charge of two kids without a job. As her parents also couldn't support her and the children, she threw herself on this nightlife industry in Bangkok. Fortunately, it was easy for her to enslave men. With her sexy body and charming personality, she became famous as a mascot of the bar. And many guys got enchanted by her and spent a lot of money. However, she never had a son in her mind. No matter how handsome they are, no matter how rich they are, she kept rejecting their proposals. Unintentionally, this stimulated man's desire for winning. There was a scramble to get her between customers every night. Only the winner of this battlefield could have a good time with her. Some of them regularly send her money after returning to their countries. She had over 10 guys who send her money every month. Although the total amount was around 50 to 60 thousand baht per month, she felt void in her heart all the time. And it was about sincere love she was eager to have from deep inside her mind, making a fake smile and sleeping with a stranger every night, and having fake datings without expressing emotions. Even though it was her decision to come to this nightline, her mental state had been devastated during the past years. Then one day, a traveler appeared in front of her. He was a university student in Korea with a healthy and sound mind. He visited Thailand after getting a notice of job offering. This guy was <laughs> none other than, as you can guess, it's me, Minos. When I landed in Bangkok for the first time 10 years ago, I visited Bakara in Soy Cowboy at first. Although it amazed me with the girl standing outside in the beginning, it was below my expectation and couldn't attract my interest. As a man whose purpose was visiting temples and castles in Bangkok, I was too naive to know about its nightlife. However, I visited here again a week before returning to Korea, and that was the beginning of this story. I also knew a little about the system of soy cowboy, but didn't want to spend money for dating burgers. There were only farangs around the bar tables, and I relaxed on an empty chair and ordered a tiger beer. 
What's your name? Where are you from? How old are you? The women in the bar repeated the questions in Thai and English. The place was too noisy and the girls were loud. But it turned into a pleasant and cool place after I got tipsy. <laughs> At the moment, one girl came inside with a tired face. As you can guess, she was Te, the heroine of this video. She just finished her short time with a Japanese guy. And already got drunk by some drinks with him. I just simply skimmed over her without care at the time. And came back to my hotel after sleeping for an hour. Then after getting shower, I went to a bar nearby the hotel. Couple of minutes later, Te, the drunk burger, came inside alone. Wait. Is she the woman at the bar of Soy Cowboy? She also recognized me and came to my table. We talked about my life in Korea and my purpose of visiting Thailand. Then she felt curious about me, a pure and naive guy. Wow, a dandy and smart guy like you also visit Soy Cowboy. Unlike other travelers who are seeking for a one-night lover, a guy like me who came to learn about the history and culture of Thailand was very unique and fresh to her. As we were all tipsy, she naturally sat close to me and whispered to me, Do you want another drink in my house? Although I've never paid for dating then and now, I followed her into her house by inexplicable attraction. And next morning, I felt regret instantly when I woke up, but didn't show it in my face and hurried to go out. There was an awkward silence while she was seeing me out, and I gave her 3,000 baht. Sorry, this is all the cash I have now. Then she made a pouting face and put it back to my pocket. I don't need it. Just take me to a Japanese restaurant. I passed by it before and want to go with you, Minos. From that time, I started spending my time with her. She also asked me to come to her bar several times. And bar pine charge was paid by her every time. She didn't care about the customers and her salary. We just talked a lot and walking around the night market holding hands together. Even though she had lived in Bangkok for a long time, she was so happy with going everywhere with me. Sharing street food such as roti and mango juice. We enjoyed our time as if we were a high school couple. <laughs> However, one week was too short for us. Without exception, the returning date finally came up. <sighs> Spending the last night together, we just waited for the sunrise holding hands without saying anything. And she said calmly, I want to go to the airport with you, but I will not. I also knew what she meant, so just not in my head. In a little while after I took a taxi to Suan Napum Airport, I'd got a long message from her. Minos, I don't want you to forget me after you back to your real life. Because for me, you're real in my real life. For me, it's not a vacation. You might took me wrong because of my job. But all the kisses and smiles were genuine coming from my heart.